Hey Jet, welcome back to another Celtic Mind podcast, yeah, or obviously the main I'm channel. <laughs> Lewis is in this one episode, episode four we're on now of the Celtic Mind. Um, we're going to be talking a bit about, um, you know, the Celtic Rangers Derby predictions. Derby. What we expect is like, I just want to say right at the start, right, you know, you know, like a movie or a, a film you've watched yeah. um, or a TV series you've watched about four times, right, and you know what's going to happen, right, but you're just waiting for it to happen. You're like, you know, you know yeah. what I mean, you know. I, I expect that on Sunday. I really anyway, do. Anyway, I'm just hoping we can keep it <laughs> now, now, or just one now loss. Can we beat Rangers on beating record? No. Um. As long as it's not more than a one now loss, I'm happy enough. I like, didn't say that last season. No people think if you, the same. If Celtic won, it's just a shrug in the shoulders because mm. it's obviously Rangers are champions. But we need to just play what the, I don't know just play I guess, just, just play I guess I don't know uh, we're also going to be talking about um, um, after the intro guys we're also going to be talking about um, the RB Salzburg manager um, he's been linked with the Celtic job as well we're also going to be talking about I talked about Roy Keane and Chris Wilder on Monday I'm going to talk a wee bit about that as well when discussing with Lewis and yeah here comes the intro first though After that intro, yeah, guys, right, we'll discuss Celtic Rangers game now. First of all, I obviously do my three, my predictions on just myself. I'll do that um, on the Friday, uh, Friday. But um, so you're stuck with me till then. Um, on the podcast channel, uh, the podcast channel, the podcast we're doing it with Lewis. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna talk about the we're gonna talk about the teams, the team news mm. for Celtic, the score predictions, and obviously what to expect on the day. Yeah. Um, you know, team news is going to be a bit probably Bane and goal. He's probably going to go the, the width again against Dundee United. Probably the same kind of team. Um, you know, if you, if you wanted any more to start, I'd probably say, you know, Kamala maybe. Mm. You know, why not? He's not played much this season. Yeah, give him a chance um, to show that he can be good. Really ain't. Uh, oh, Just about anything, really. Yeah. Um, score predictions. Um, you know, I don't think anybody's expecting Celtic to win at all. I mean, it's probably the, the less likely thing... It's I'm just happen. praying for a nil-nil or at least only losing. A nil-nil or a win would be, you know, a win for Celtic now, I mean, at least it gives you a wee bit of joy for a couple of days. I have absolutely, <laughs> no. there's no chance we're going to win. I'm hoping at the, at the max it can be a one nil loss. Anything other than that, it just... Yeah. It'd be pain. It's just, it, well, we've already experienced pain this season a lot, but uh, especially not even winning a, a, a road firm this season would be... Yeah. It's not the first time it's happened, but it would be very sad. Was, before last season, I wasn't really into football, so I just so I got into football a bit before lockdown, and so technically the second season I've ever actually been interested in football, it's all went to crap. <laughs> I think I'm just bad luck. Um, uh, you know, as I say, like we're not expecting much from Celtic. We expect yeah. the same as we've seen before. Rangers are just going to be dominant in the game. I mean, if we get a, I mean, if we get a goal, well, oh. we're happy enough. But you know, it's like we're probably not going to celebrate the goal like in any new, like in any old firms, like like a normal one because like Rangers are champions. You know, it's it, there's nothing yeah. really to celebrate. I know it's an old firm, it's different, but it's just it's just um, there's nothing really to celebrate about. You know. I'm I, probably going to follow a different football league for now because well. A pro pro, you know. Um, you, you know, we've won the quadruple treble, we've got, you know, a, a wee thing looking forward to, it's the Scottish Cup, that's if we can get to the final, of course. Um, uh, I doubt it. Uh, you know, with John Kennedy in charge, so we'll find out what his team knows as in, obviously, Sunday. Um, you know, probably, Rangers, you know, what a fair play to Rangers, like, you can't keep coming up with Neil Lennon, every excuse this season was, we didn't have the fans. What did Rangers do? Not have fans. They didn't have fans and they and they, they they dominated they dominated this season. Yeah. You know what I mean? Honestly, I'm not going to be surprised if they can go almost the whole season undefeated. They'll probably end up losing to some what like Aberdeen. Like, oh, they'll no, never lose. No, they'll never lose. No, no. I don't see them losing. They lost in the cup, but that doesn't count I domestically. I doubt they're going to go unbeaten. They're, they're going to have one day, one day, like probably near the end of the season. No. They've already won the league. So they're probably all just going to probably lose near the end of the season, like nah. Liverpool last season. I don't see it happening. They, they were all I know they lost to Watford, but I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. The I only know, team, obviously... Liverpool had won the league already, yeah. they lost 
Oh, I'm pretty sure a majority of the games after that. I don't game. see, I do not see, um, like, anybody beating Rangers. The only team I expected at the start of the season to beat Rangers was Celtic. And what did we do? We lost. We were very lucky in the last old farming in January, right? But, but big, d stupid beat on. I had, to put, I had to just do that, hold back Morelos. Like, if you literally touch Morelos, you know what's going to happen, right? Alright, he wasn't the last man, and yeah. everyone was a bit of fault there, but you still can't do that, right? And yeah. an, like, you can't, it's just, an, you can't do it. Because we were dominating the game, to be fair, and we might have got a goal in the end, but, yeah, you know. Think, all I'm saying is, though, near the end of the season, I think they just will probably play more youth players, or like, they'll rotate the squad more. Yeah. They've already won time to let the youth players or whoever play, so that that's where they'll start losing. Nah, I don't see them losing at all, Austin, really don't. No. I do. Aberdeen have, lo Aberdeen have lost their manager, so there's no hope for them. Um, and the other teams are just absolute Even rubbish. Even if it's one game, I think they will lose one Maybe you're thinking that. Maybe you're thinking the Celtic lose, you know, Rosen and Osh and stuff, but nah, Rangers won't. Um, just, even if it, nah, they're definitely going to lose one match this season. I don't, see it, I don't see it happening. Uh, like, let's move on to the manager situation now, Lewis. I've, ta I've talked about it on Monday's podcast, but... Roy Keane, Chris Wilder, and obviously the new one, the RB Salzburg manager is interested now. Who would you like the most? I know Eddie Howe would be the favourite, right? But if Celtic cannot get Eddie Howe because he's waiting for a job in the Premier League in the summer. No, I'm thinking. Now, a lot of, some people will say Roy Keane. Yes. But not me. Yeah, I would, I would agree with you on that one. Ten right? years yeah. ago, when he when he first started managing, he, sure, he, if, a, a, a long while ago, he brought Sunderland to the Premier League yeah. for a relegation battle. But back then his tactics were already outdated. Yeah. Uh, ten years later. Uh, yeah. It, well, I think he's the best in Sky Sports on a Sunday. I'm going to say the RB Salzburg did. Yeah. He's, um, the best he's, a, he's said he's interested in a Celtic job. Um, he's done oh, quite so well he's for us. He's interested in a Celtic job. Okay, I'll take him. He's quite and he's quite um done well for RB Salzburg. I don't know. Yeah, what considering his team is literally the, I'm pretty sure they supply most of RP Leipzig's players anyway. Like, I feel unless, if it's not a pre contract, we're playing as much as Red Bull have for some random youth players. We're currently first in the Austrian Bundesliga. Yeah, I think he will do good because. Um, no. He develop, like, are we Salzburg develop a lot of Leipzig's players? So They've only lost four games this season and they've drawn once and they've won 16, the highest in the, obviously, the league. Yeah, I think we should get him. Um, He's interested. So let's offer him as much money as he wants. Uh, the Celtic link, he say March, Mar, Mar, Mars, Mars. I want to say March, Mar, Mars. I don't know. And incredible team, Celtic link to him. There you go. I, I would say the Salzburg manager's interested. We take him. Hey, he's there. Hey, he's there, guys. Mm. I just say we go for the Salzburg. To, to focus everything on him. He's been considered as a potential replacement for your line and confessed he would be interested in the job. He's not a phenomenal name as, you know, Roy Keane, Chris Wilder, or even Enzo Maresca from obviously Man City's under 23s. Yeah, right. Supporters are intrigued a prospect of intelligent rising star joining the club. March, uh, I was called March, <laughs> has worked under Ra Ralph Ratnick and coached like the likes of Erlen Haaland and Timo Werner since moving to Europe. But may not be familiar after working in America and Austria. So there you go. But, you know, any manager that's going to come into Celtic will need patience. Celtic fans will need to be patient because, you know, even Enzo Maresca or uh, Eddie Howe, even like, Eddie Howe will just, need patience. If it's a tough name, just say yeah. your last name. We'll need, it doesn't matter if you butcher it. We'll need time, we'll need time to yeah. get the players in and get the tactics right. It's not going to switch overnight. So, any manager you get in will be obviously yeah. difficult to get in, you know, get the back to where we were, like the Brendan Rodgers era. Um, but, you know, hopefully we can get back into the Champions League next season with a good manager. Some good signings maybe in the summer. Um, Take care. Me and you would be better managers than Newland. Yeah, well, he's, oh, he's, he's actually interested, he's actually expressed, he's, in, he's like, um, he's in the book, he's favourite for the Sheffield United job. Oh Lord, Chris Wilder was actually good. He's a good manager. We got him up to the Premier League from League One or something. Yeah, like four years mm -hmm. or something. And um, aye. I wonder if Chris Wilder would be interested in the Celtic job then. Well, he's a bookie's favourite. Only because he left on Monday. 
Oh, get sacked, sorry. Um, no, it was, um, he, he left by mutual... That's a bit like I me, can't Lenny. say that word. Mutual consent. Yeah, agree with Yeah, but that's probably like, that's like, that's like Lenny's when he left. But it's probably, you know what I mean? But... Um, no, it was actually because Sheffield United were getting a direct for football. Yeah, well he doesn't like director footballs, that's what Celtic are going for though. Yeah, so. To be fair, I really do not play, I don't, to, I, I don't blame Sheffield United for trying to get one. His signings have been crap and they're not... Yeah, but he tried to get signed in January and that's where it all started from the big... Yeah, and all honestly, the team just doesn't have enough money to get the players he wants. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about what we expect on Sunday, guys. I'll talk a bit more about predictions um, on yeah. Friday night, but Lewis, what is your score prediction? As, as, as I said at the start of the video, what is your score prediction? Rangers. I'm going for a 1-1 a, a one, one draw, <laughs> I think, I, I, I'd, I'd uh, probably no. say, people would say, oh, Celtic not going to score, but I think it's going to be 1-1, one, one, okay? Wait, get the camera, we film the lost children, it's what we call an idiot. We'll wait on Sunday, we'll see what happens on Sunday, guys. Please subscribe, like, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Celtic Mind. Right.